911 emergency, Aragon 20227. Do you need police, fire, or medical? Hello, um, got into car accident <sighs> in the middle of the street, and I need a, uh, I need help. Hello. Hello. Leah? Yeah. How's it going? Okay. Okay. Thanks for uh thanks for correcting me. I was gonna go inside the community. <laughs> I was like, oops, wrong way. Oh shit. Oh Jesus Christ. Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Shit. That's the. Ah, shit. I hope she's okay. Oh, my chest. Ah, shit. You good? Ah, shit. Oh, my fucking god. Are you okay? My chest just hurts. Call oh. one emergency. Aragon two zero two two seven. Do you need police, fire, or medical? Hello. Um, got into car accident <sighs> in the middle of the street, and I need a, uh, I need help. What are your crossroads? Um, give me one second, please. Ethan? Uh, it's, I, I just, it's, uh... My, my to an accident. It's on, uh, West Pebble Road and my, South I was in the Uber and we got it. El Captain Way. Was anyone injured? Uh, I'm not sure. It like, just happened, so, um, airbag, uh, deployed, and, uh, um, yeah, it just literally happened, so... What is the color, make, and model of your vehicle? Uh, it's, it's, a uh, Midnight Blue and, uh, Tesla Model Y. Any idea on drinking, drugs, or what? No, not, nothing. For yourself, or? Nothing, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Are the vehicles stuck in the middle of the road? Uh, yeah, we're blocking the road right now. Oh, I gosh. Have, uh, I'm in this car right here. I don't think you guys will need it, but I do have dash cam video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you uh, share that with me? By yeah. 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 Thanks so much. You okay, Leah? Right yeah, are you okay? Your head hurts? So, the help is coming. Um, there will be medical assistance. So, do you want to stick around to get checked up? Vehicles all locked Passenger. up. Hi. Hey. Are you hurt? My chest and my head hurts. I don't know okay. if there's anything. Were you wearing a seatbelt? Okay. Come check me out just a second. Yeah, sure. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so you need to try it? Yeah, to see if, there, if there's any way to put it in neutral so we can push it. No, you want to start. No, even if it doesn't start, will it go to neutral? Oh. Uh, so we can push. It'll go in neutral. It, no, it wouldn't go neutral either. Yeah. Nothing. The gear is, yeah. yeah. It's, okay. it's not working right now.
Dude, my license plate is gone. This is going to be my last visit to Copart to take all of my stuff from the total vehicle I've driving this thing for all, barely a year and and I think it's uh it's time to say goodbye but I got most of the stuff there's only one uh, roof rack left that I have to take off but it's really easy to take off very fortunately so so there it is that's everything from Copart and my car my total car just to tell you guys whose fault it was I guess first of all it was the other driver's fault as you guys could see from the footage there was a stop sign on the intersection on the on, on the lane where the driver was on and I didn't have stop sign nor traffic lights that I need to follow and stop. So I was just going straight at 45 miles per hour, which was the the speed limit on the street. So I had a F FSD supervised version 12.3. I think it was five activated, but then it just happens in a split second. There was a SUV on the right hand side uh, on the right lane uh, from from where I was. I was created obviously a blind spot for me and the, the other driver and the, the other driver couldn't see me coming so she was pulling out from the stop sign but she couldn't see me she probably thought there was no car coming but I was coming and she wouldn't stop she would just keep pulling out pretty much blocking my way and when I saw the car it was pretty much like two or three seconds before I was about to crash into into the car so I ended up basically T-boning that person. Um, I try my best to steer or maneuver, I guess, around the other driver. I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but because it, it was like a second. But I think in hindsight, I was thinking I probably was trying to trying my best not to hit that driver straight. So I steered it in, in the right direction. But it was, uh, I think I had like limited movement. Honestly, speaking with you guys, this is why I am uh, telling you guys, recording this video, because I want to tell you guys a little bit of things that I've learned from this car accident. First of all, steering wheel, like yoke specifically, I love yoke. It looks great. I, I will always love it. It just looks cool, right? But unfortunately, it was not practical at all. And I knew about it because it, we're, we're missing this part here the upper part, which a uh, normal circle or round steering wheel has. But so if I had that part, the upper part at the time of the accident, I probably would have been able to steer it a little more. So things might have been different. I just wanted to address that there's a safety concern with the silk steering wheel. Just so to you guys, so you guys could, you know, if you guys have it, if you guys want it, go ahead. But just know that emergency situations like that, you might have some limited ability to steer better. So that's one thing I learned. So I don't, I don't personally, I'm not going to go back to yoke. I'm going to miss it, but I actually, normal steering wheel is so much better when it comes to like driving. So anyways, that's one thing. And the second thing was, second thing that I want to uh, talk to you guys about is the elephant in the room, right? Now, I'm not going to blame anyone here. Accident happened. It's in the past. And what I learned is that obviously full self-driving supervised. So you got to, you know, the, it means you got to supervise it. It means it's not perfect. So everybody notices it's perfect. It's great. Full self-driving version 12 has been a breakthrough and is, is going to get better. And I'm, I'm very optimistic still. I'm very, I will always support and I, I will always try my best to spread the awareness of full self-driving. First of all, it's not perfect. It'll make mistakes. It'll probably continue to make mistakes. There'll always be edge cases that simply that have never happened before 
or that nobody has ever run into yet. And those edge cases might be addressed with the upcoming updates. Obviously, even the training is done through the vast amount of data and stuff. It'll keep getting better. That's what I want to say. But here's the catch. In my opinion, in my very honest opinion, your Tesla 3 model, model S, Y, X, even Cybertruck, I don't think they should be robot taxi activated or enabled with the current hardware. There's a whole debate around whether Tesla should have like additional camera around the front bumper, but that's not the issue here. What I'm trying to say, no matter how many cam cameras Tesla would have, and in addition to the, the A cameras that these Teslas already have, that's the problem. With robot taxi, safety has to be not guaranteed, but it has to be enhanced. And with cameras, there's a, unfortunately, there's a limitation. If it was actually rewind my video, this episode, and re rewatch the, the exact moment or a couple of seconds before the accident was about to happen, if you pay attention to footage, especially the full stop driving visualization, you could actually tell the FSD car was not able to see the SUV, just like I couldn't see. So me and the FSD, we both weren't able to see the, the SUV pulling out from the stop sign, from the intersection. And that's a problem because you guys probably, it might be something obvious here, but every intersection, there's always going to be that kind of scenarios. The, the cars on the left side or right, right, right hand side, left or right lanes, it might easily create blind spots. And for me and the, the other driver from the other side of the intersection, right? It's point is a car, the robot taxi per se, it should be able to see more than humans, right? Tesla currently full self driving w with all these eight cameras placed around the vehicle. It's able to see, like the car is able to see 360 view or 180, whatever. It's able to see more than humans, but it's, it's still not able to see other cars in front of the car that's in front of me. Does that make sense? The point that I'm trying to make here is LiDAR and ra radar or radar. They're probably necessary for a safety reason for robot taxis specifically, because without those sensors, there's always going to be a blind spot. I think that's a, that's it. That's the bottom line. That's the point I'm trying to make here. But robot taxis should not have a blind spot or blind spots. They should, it shouldn't. It should, full stop driving as it is today is already, I think, safer than most human, human drivers out there, but it still has blind spots. But in my very, very opinion, robot taxis w without drivers, driverless robot taxis should be able to see more, a lot more. For safety reasons, it should not have blind spots. So luckily though, Tesla full self driving, Tesla autopilot team is working on solving, I guess the software, software problem, right? It, it, they're, they're making the software better and better and it's, it's going to get better. That's for sure. But when it comes to robot taxi, it'll need lighters or radar sensors to not have blind spots to prevent accidents like this, which is pretty common in my opinion, from not happening. So that's my two cents here. Just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, But th this has nothing to do with like, whether I believe in Tesla's full self-driving or not. I, I still do. But I'm just saying that when it comes to robot taxi, the lighter or radar sensors, I think they're necessary. And I think Tesla might know this, actually. So on August 8th, we might see something, something new here. For example, robot taxis might have like additional sensors for a safety reason. I think they know. But yeah, that's the point I'm trying to make. And I hate to say this, but I'm not sure after this accident, um, all of these Tesla vehicles on the road right now should be enabled to become robot taxi in the future. I think that's going to be uh, debatable. It is very debatable. Software wise, it's going to probably solve it, but yeah, robot taxi is a di different subject and topic for a very important reason, which is safety. But I just want to share that with you guys. And I'm really curious to see and hear what you guys think about this. But uh, luckily Tesla does make the safest cars on the road. 
Um, I think Model Y is arguably the safest car that's ever been made in human history. I might be wrong, but that's what I heard. Uh, but yeah, I pretty much walked out of the car with, you know, almost like minor injuries. Uh, I feel pretty good, luckily. So very thankful for that. But also wanted to point, point that out. You know, Tesla makes the safest car. And as you guys can see, um, soon as the airbag deploys and thanks to the uh, feature that was provided through the uh, one of the latest software updates, um, the car will automatically call 911 <laughs> for you. And then, yeah, I think, you know, uh, you'll, you'll be talking to some, somebody on the other side of 911. So, um, that was a good example. Um, I was the example that it works. I just wanted to tell you guys that as well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I would love to, uh, hear your opinions and thoughts and everything. So thank you for all of your support so far. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time.